Am I afraid of dying on Mars? I want to say I am because I feel like that's the natural response. But no, not, not really, actually. My name is Apostolus McWaters, Tully for short. I'm a media student in Toronto, Canada, but soon I will be training to be part of the second round of the Mars One expedition, leaving in 2024. Uh, I'm afraid of what might happen. It's possible we might not even make it into space. I mean, that's something that's hit me. I've always had this weird fetish with space. Ever since I was a kid, I would draw space excessively, but uh, there came a point that uh, I started to realize that it was an unrealistic goal. They wouldn't choose someone to be an astronaut who had no experience in science, and so I just got really into uh, storytelling, I guess. A lot of things that I've made have been connected to space. I think the majority of the time that I spend on Earth is gonna have to be spent in training. Obviously, there's a bunch of things that I have to be taught before I go and embark on uh, settling on a new planet. I was lying on the couch and he comes in and he's like, he's like, Ben, Ben, Ben. I did not expect what, what happened. Like, I, I was like, what's wrong? What, what is it? What is it? And then he said, I'm going to Mars. I couldn't believe it. I didn't think about it at first, and then it kind of dawned on me that they can't, you know, they can't get back because they don't have enough fuel. So I realized what kind of like a mission it was. My mom was a little upset, but I mean, I think any mother would be their son telling you that they're leaving forever. I mean, <laughs> it's just something you don't want to hear. If I read something online of even just a Canadian, let alone my best friend was to go on this trip, that would be insane. I initially just did it for fun. I don't think I, I don't think anyone really expected, at least for me, that I would get chosen to be going to Mars. Cause I mean like, I mean, and I, and I posted it online and, and no one has really believed me. I almost don't believe in myself because it is an unbelievable thing. I mean, I don't think anyone really anticipates that this would be something that would happen in our lifetime. And now it is, and now it's me. I think that's just unreal on so many levels. <laughs>